Hello and welcome to the Heatline video vlog. We're currently in the season where roof and gutter snow melt is a big issue. When people generally think about roof and gutter snow melt, they automatically think about the serpentine pattern along the edge of the roof or the zigzag or the back and forth and really focus on the ice dam issue. What people tend to forget or they tend to discount is the fact that when we melt that ice and that snow off of the roof, it needs to go somewhere. In most homes, you have a gutter system, eaves trough and a gutter that brings the liquid from the roof down onto the ground, sheds it into the ground below or out into the surrounding area. Getting rid of the water that you melt through the eaves trough and the gutter system is extremely important. As you can see here in the situation that we're currently in, we have an underground drain line coming off the eaves trough where there's no protection and the underground is obviously frozen. So now what ends up happening is all the ice that we melted off the roof, we've now transferred to the ground. Now it's a slipping hazard. We want to eliminate that slipping hazard from the beginning. And the key thing there is running the heating cable that you're using for your roof melting back through your eaves trough, down your downspout, and through the drain to at least below the frost line or to the point where it actually drains out onto the ground a safe distance away from where you're gonna have any foot traffic. As always, if you have any certain questions or specialized applications with respect to roof de-icing, please feel free to give Heatline a call. We're there to help, we're happy to help, and we wanna do what we can to make your winter season enjoyable. We hope you found this vlog helpful. We'll continue to release a new video vlog each month. Please make sure to stay up to date by signing up for our email newsletter or our social media links, which can be found on our website at www.heatline.com. Thank you for watching.